Hey, what's going on, friends? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again, and um, it's official. Um, Kellen Moore has now officially been named the offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I know a lot of you guys are. It's a lot of feelings about that. Some people are optimistic about it. Some people are like, hell no. Some people are like, look, we need to have somebody outside the organization. So we can talk about that. Um, I'm definitely trying to get a live stream going on this evening um, to talk more in depth about it. But for right now, I would just say this. Uh, well, Kellen Moore is not an offensive coordinator. John Kitten is going to be the quarterback's coach. Um, I'm optimistic about it. I know a lot of people... Uh, may not feel that way, but you have no choice to be optimistic at this point because us as fans, we can't make any decisions. Now, I agree that, you know, going outside of the organization would have been a great choice to do. Um, but apparently they see a lot in Kellen Moore right now. Um, Kellen Moore does have a great mind when it comes to the X's and O's. He came up with a lot of plays himself, um, and he was very much incorporated in that play calling when he was with Boise State and everybody always said that he was going to be a better coach than he was a player off of the not because he didn't have talent but because he wasn't um, that athletic he was a short guy and um, a lot of teams didn't couldn't um, produce well with a left-handed quarterback so you know it's a right-handed league so you know I mean I know that Michael Vick was left-handed but you know they use him in other ways he was also mobile um, Kellen Moore was not that type of athletic guy. So that was, that was another downfall on him. So a lot of teams really weren't checking for him like that. But now that he's on the coaching staff, um, we'll see on, on, look, it's a wait and see type of thing going on right now. We got to wait and see what's going on. We don't know what he can do. We don't know, you know, the biggest thing that, and, and, and somebody brought this to my attention the other day about the playbook. And they were basically saying that, Hey, um, I don't want Kellen Moore, not necessarily because I don't like him, but because if we're using the same scheme, the same book, and Jason Garrett's still the coach, he's still overseeing things. I get that point. I do. Um, they think that they're going to get the same results they got with Linehan. But one thing I know that's going to be very different, um, which, which I had suggested that we should have done before, and I'm happy that they're going that route. Linehan did his own thing. Linehan was very bland. Linehan is the type of coordinator that's for an aging quarterback, a, a veteran type of quarterback. That's the type of quarterback that he needs to be an offensive coordinator for. But for a young team that we are, with young players, with a, a mobile, a big mobile quarterback that can use his legs and um, does very well in in in, in shotgun and and um um sh God, I'm I'm sorry, I'm still in work mode right now. I'm up. Um, shotgun and, and what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm totally out of it right now, but, um, basically <laughs> Dak strengths. We know what Dak is good at. Um, options, options. I mean, the fact that, you know, RPOs, I'm sorry. That's what I was thinking about. RPOs, a run pass option. Now, we 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 did it sparingly this year, and you notice that when we did, those things worked. When we got Zeke on that wheel route, when we were doing misdirections, when we were doing things that could fuse the defense, a lot of that stuff was actually Kellen. And uh, and this is what and and everybody had this notion that they didn't know what Kellen can do and this and that. I understand that completely because me personally, I, I thought the same thing. You know, you look on you look at the game on TV and you see Dak Prescott come back off the field and. You, you see him not engaging with Kellen Moore. But in fact, we just thought that, hey, that was Linehan's guy and nobody else liked him. But apparently Garrett loves Kellen Moore and they love Dak. They just didn't like Linehan. Um, again, Kellen Moore really couldn't do much with Linehan there because Linehan controlled everything. The way that they're going right now with Kellen Moore, he is going to be the offensive coordinator. He's going to be heavily involved with the play calling. But it's going to be input from Nussmeyer, from Doug Nussmeyer, the tight ends coach, and Dak. Dak's going to have his input too, which is great because you allow your quarterback to get better because now your quarterback is learning. He's learning defenses. He can see things downfield. And those plays like we had with the Eagles where Amari Cooper was like, look, I could beat this guy on this route. Well, if his receivers say, hey, let's try this, Dak can relay that to Kellen. And Kellen was like, all right, let's incorporate this. Let's come up with a scheme. Let's do something. They could do something on the fly that nobody's ever seen. The playbook is not trash. 
I, and I know that for a fact. Linehan just didn't delve into it. Like I mentioned before, our playbook is like the Cheesecake Factory menu. It's all over the place. It's so many different things. Linehan just did not turn the page um, to do the things that he needed to do to call the right plays. Like he, he, him, and, him and Dak were just not a match. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to sit here and, and ish on Linehan and say that he's terrible because he could be good for somebody else, but he's just not good with Dak. Those two are not good. He's not good with his team. The way that we're trying to move forward, we can't keep going with conservative play call. You already have Garrett, which is a conservative guy. But one thing I noticed, too, the way that Garrett shows us to us and the media is way different than what goes on behind the scenes. Think about that. This is the reason why the players still love Jason Garrett. We we don't see the side of Jason Garrett that the players do. We see the old every day, the bland, wear the same T-shirts all the time to training camp and to practice. His regular degular. But what we don't see is what goes on behind the scenes. And what he portrays, portrays to his team is a totally different Jason Garrett than what we see. So that, that that's 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 how that's how that is. Um I'm just gonna try to be optimistic about um Keller Moore. Like I said, only time will tell. Sorry for the ashiness. I just got through working on like three ice machines, so I'm tired. Um, I just wanted to get this video out real quick. Like I said, I'm trying to get a live stream in later, so I'll delve more deeply into that um, and then get some of your guys' opinions. So we can just have a good, wholesome talk about it because if Cowboy fans, let's come together on different um, opinions to try to come to a common consensus. That's what I'm all about on this channel. I'm all about uplifting my people, and if if you're positive, let's be positive. Let's do it. So, um, yeah. So, um, another thing, John Kitna being a quarterback coach is going to be great for Dak. Um, you remember how, um, Dak's first year when Mark Sanchez was, was in his ear. Now you got John Kitna there that used to be a quarterback for the Cowboys. He was a backup for Tony. I um, mean, he played in spot duty. Um, and he did pretty decent. Now he's a guy that, that, that has good technique because he, he's a technique type of guy. So, I just look at it like this. Um, with with that going on, I think that John Kitten is going to be good in helping Dak with his mechanics. So you got John Kitten helping him with his mechanics, and you got Kellen Moore with the influence of other people trying to get this playbook together. Who knows? It might be a good year. But if things go the other way, if things just happen to go, if things just happen to go the other way, and it doesn't go too well for the Cowboys, then guess what? Jason Garrett's done if we don't do anything next season. So that will be a good thing for um, everybody that wants Jason Garrett gone. So with that being said, let's just look at it like that. So um, look out for uh, my next video or my live stream, whatever. Um, we can talk about this. So with that being said, y'all, it's your boy E2Blue, always keeping it real. I'll talk to y'all soon.